Hello my dear children. Welcome to Orchid School. My name is Miss Shafkeen Jawali and we will all study today subject EVS1 and the topic is air. So let's see what we are going to study in this interesting chapter. Can you tell me children what are the people in the picture doing? If you see the first picture, a small little girl is blowing a balloon. And in picture number two, a man is filling air in the car tire. Children, we will now do an activity for you. Take a water in a big container. Can you see children? I have taken a bucket of water and a small narrow container that is you can also take a mug hold it upside down on the surface of the water and without tilting it push it down into the water what do you see children bubble rises at once to the top. What does this tell us children? Air is lighter than water. So air bubbles rise to the top as soon as the container is tilted. As soon as the, the container, the mug is going down and down, you can see bubbles you can even try this activity at home, children. It, uh, it means that there was air even in the container that appeared to be empty. We will now see what is the atmosphere. Can you please repeat the spelling, children? After the teacher, A T M O S. H E R E atmosphere. As you all know, children, that we can not see air, but we can feel it, and air is present everywhere, all around us. So, as you all know, the earth on which we live is round in shape like a ball. There is all around the earth. Yes or no? So, this covering of air around the earth is called the atmosphere. I repeat, the covering of air around the earth is called the atmosphere. As we go further from the earth, the layers of air becomes thinner. That is, the layers of air closest to the earth are very close to each other. While the ones at the higher level are not so close. So, the air at a greater height is rare. Let's try one more activity children. Take a slightly deep dish like a saucer. Can you see a saucer I have taken? Now, stand a candle at its center. center. I have already lit a candle. Now, fill the saucer with little water into it. The next step is you will take a glass and cover the candle. What do you see children? What magic can you see children? Slowly, slowly the candle goes out and can you see the water level has come up to a certain level. Why does this happen children? One of the constitute of air helps burning. 
as it gets used up water rises in the glass when that constituent is finished the candle goes down the water level to stops rising this constituents of air that helps burning is called oxygen if you see children the water level has stopped rising so at a certain time the water level stop to rise this constituent of air that helps burning is called oxygen gas now we'll see the constituents of air that helps burning is called oxygen gas the earth's atmosphere is made of air if we divide a circle into five equal parts then the oxygen in the air will be equal to one of the parts if you see in this picture there is a circle drawn and that circle is divided into five equal parts then can you see a orange color color and it is written over there oxygen that means the oxygen in the air will be equal to one of the parts if i have five children and have to give the pizza to them i will divide the pizza into five equal parts so just like that the circle is divided into five equal parts the oxygen in the air is used for both burning and respiration what is respiration children respiration means the air we breathe through our nose goes into the lungs yes or no so the air we breathe is called respiration and we all know we take fresh air that is the oxygen inside and what do we leave outside children we leave carbon dioxide and what do plants do plants give out oxygen and take in carbon dioxide and air is also used for burning if you see fire and some of the other thing is burning due to the air the burning starts becomes more high and high so there is air in the the oxygen is in the air is used for both burning and respiration plants also make their food using air and water in the presence of sunlight when plants make their food they use carbon dioxide from the air to make their food can you see in this picture the plant is using light energy carbon dioxide from the air and water and it is leaving out fresh air that is oxygen for human beings next we'll see have you ever taken a bottle or a glass and put ice or chill water into it if you do that you will see that water droplets have been settled outside that means there is water present in air in the form of gas let's see what are the constituents of air the constituents of air are oxygen nitrogen and a mixture of other gases if you see this picture you will see 21% 
is of oxygen, 1% is of other different gases and 78% that is the highest part which is made of still another kind of gases. This gas which is made up of still another kind of gas is called nitrogen. However, there are several gases present in the air. In other words, air is a mixture of several gases. If you see this circle, the largest part of air is made up of another kind of gases. Do you know children, when the burning takes place in factory, vehicles, stores in kitchen etc gives out smoke. This smoke too mixes with the air around us. I hope you all have understood this lesson very well. Now I would like to like you all to look at these words, listen carefully and repeat after me. So the first word is atmosphere. So let's repeat A T M O S P H E R E atmosphere. Second one is oxygen. O X Y G E N oxygen. The third one is burning. B U R N I N G burning. The fourth one is respiration. R E S P I R A T I O N respiration. The fifth one is presence. P R E S E N C E presence. The sixth one is nitrogen. N I T R O G N nitrogen. The seventh one is carbon dioxide. C A R B O N D I O X I D E carbon dioxide. I hope you all have enjoyed this lesson and you must have learned what is air, what is atmosphere, how do plants make their food. Now let us meet into the next session. Till then, bye.